I'm hitting a park today that I've hit quite a few times in the past. Today I'm going to do something a little different though. I'm going to stay away from nickel signals. I'm going to try to avoid penny signals and just shoot for the higher tones today. See if I can't pull some silver out of here. And my first target, modern dime. Let's move on and see what else we can find. Well, I got pretty high tone there, up to 25, but it's pretty much of a screamer. I'm wondering if it isn't a bottle cap, but I'm going to have to dig it. Well, there's why it was such a screaming signal. Piece of aluminum. Probably part of a fencing or something. Let's move on. So, 23, 24. I'm going to dig it. And that's one of the hazards of just going after high tones. Aluminum rings right up there. But we'll keep going. Well, there's my next signal. It was a screamer. Looks like it had a clip on the back. Maybe a barrette. Something like that. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, there's my next item. It's aluminum. I can see 10, 15, 20. I'm guessing it's probably inside of a pressure gauge, like a tire pressure gauge or something. Let's move on. Well, I'm out today in my mother's yard. This is my brother and my mom. And I'm just doing a little detecting while I'm here. Here's my first item. That's the first piece I pulled up. Real heavy. It's brass. Uh, there used to be oil wells in this area. And I'm wondering if that doesn't have something to do with some of the machinery they had back in here. If anybody recognizes that, leave me uh, a message and see if we can figure out what it is. It's heavy. See you on the next hole. I got a solid 24, 25 signal right here. I'm going to dig it about six inches down. He's got a, he's got a strong signal. It's about six inches down. You can tell how deep it is. Like and, uh, well, there's my next signal. It's a memorial. I think it's a 79. Date's kind of buggered on it. Well, I got a signal here. It's pretty solid 25, about four inches down. I'm I'm calling a dime. We'll see if I'm right. All right, I was wrong. It wasn't a dime. Copper penny. Move on to the next target. Well, I pulled two more memorials, zinkers, out of this spot. This one's already getting eaten away. Move on to the next hole. Well, there's my next item. Another zinker. Move on. Well, another zinking. I think I got a couple of signals here, though. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, come across a penny spill. Another zinking. Got about four of them now right out of this spot. All right, that's more like it. I've found something here. It's got writing on it. It looks pretty old. And it looks like it might be some kind of a button, maybe overall button. I'll clean it up and we'll see what it says. Hmm. 
All right, I've cleaned this up. I don't know if you can see it. I'll get a better picture later, but it says show me on it. And it looks like it has a shank on the back. I'm guessing that this is off a pair of overalls. I'm going to look it up and do a little research on it. See if I can figure out what it actually is. Well, I'm in a park again. I've hit numerous times, and so has everybody else. But today my goal is to hit nothing but deep, scratchy signals. Because uh, back around the late 1800s, early 1900s, there were some buildings on this corner of the park and there was a fairgrounds here and i found some old items here in the past so today i'm just shooting for deep scratchy signals that i normally wouldn't dig Let's see if i can find some old stuff and here's my first item well my first target probably oh i don't know 10, 11 inches deep is a Wheatie and I can't get a date off it. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to clean it up a little more when I get home, but this one looks pretty old, pretty bad. But that's what I'm shooting for today. I want the old stuff, so I'm going deep today. and I'm going with real iffy signals. Well, my last couple targets were nails and junk, but right next to them, that's about as deep as I can get, between 18 and 20, 22, 23, I think I'm going to dig it, see what it is. Could be another nail, but we'll see. Well, so far, piece of a nail. I'm gonna recheck the hole though. Well, that's all it was in that hole was a nail. But we'll move on to the next one. Still going after the deep stuff. Well, I only got about half hour worth of hunt in today. It started raining, and it's raining pretty hard right now. Although, my first target was an old weedy real deep, so I had a little success on just shooting at deep targets. I did dig up a little bit of trash, some nails, and bobby pins, but I wasn't digging anything under 8 inches. So, it's out there. I just have to get out here between the rain showers and get after it again. Well, I'm going to try to continue with what I started yesterday before I got rained out, and that is just hit the real deep scratchy signals out here. See if I can pull something good out of the ground from way down. I'm going to try to ignore some of the shallower stuff and just go for the deep stuff. We'll see how it works. Well, I'm getting about a 20 to 24 signal here, and it looks like it's real deep. And it's a little scratchy. Eh, it's jumping around a little. Now it's showing a 15. I'm going to go ahead and dig it and see what we got. I had to give up on that hole. I got down there 15, 18 inches, and it was still ringing. So I'm guessing it was something large. So I'm going to move on. I don't want to dig a huge pit out here in the park. So go to the next one. Well, this was not terrible deep. Yeah, could be. It's a screaming signal though. I'm going to go ahead and dig it just out of curiosity. Well, 
Well, it wasn't all that deep. Ended up being a 1969 Canadian. We'll move on. Well, I switched up my tactics. I just wasn't finding much looking for deep signals. So I decided to poke around in the tot lot. I just found a dime and I just found a penny. I'll just mess around a little bit and I'm going to head out of here. And about eight inches down, modern quarter, state quarter. Let's see what else we can find. And a modern penny. Let's move on.